The Winter Villa of Little Mole When winter arrived, the babbling brook in the valley ceased its cheerful song, replaced by the howling mountain wind. Little Mole, shivering with cold, roamed the sunny hillside, searching for a place to spend the winter. Chattering and shivering, it scraped a withered sunflower stem and tried to squeeze into the small burrow. Up on the hill, Little Mole's friend, Bonnie, dressed in blue and white striped overalls, was working hard, digging a hole. When it saw Little Mole, Bonnie greeted with a smile, saying, Hi, Little Mole! The sunflower stem hole is too shallow for winter. Shivering, Little Mole replied, I I I know, but I can't find a place for winter. Bonnie kindly suggested, That's alright. You can spend winter with me. I'm building a spacious villa, and it'd be perfect to have friends around for the winter. Little Mole thought, living in a warm, large villa with friends during winter would be so delightful and cozy. So, it joined Bonnie in digging the burrow. Bonnie dug out the soil, and Little Mole used a small cart made from sunflower leaves to transport the earth outside. They toiled for three days and nights until the winter villa was finally complete. When the first snowflake of the winter fell, Little Mole and Bonnie relaxed in their cozy burrow. Burr, burr, it's cold. La la la, winter's here, snowflakes falling. While they were chatting inside the burrow, they heard a melodious voice singing outside. Bonnie and Little Mole exchanged puzzled glances. Who's singing in such a freezing winter? Little Mole asked. Just then, a small crow landed on the withered sunflower stem. Hey, the place looks warm, can I come in? The crow inquired. Of course, Bonnie exclaimed, come on in, our villa is perfect for the winter. The singing crow, a bit shy, said, um, I'm a singer. Do you mind having a singer as your guest? Aha, not at all, little mole said, beaming. Our villa is spacious, and it's wonderful to have friends to spend the winter with. So, the songbird crow joined the cozy winter villa. The three of them chatted and sang songs, making the winter days enjoyable. Knock, 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 a soft knock sounded at the door. May I come in? A tiny voice called from outside. Little Mole, Bonnie, and the crow hurried to the door. Who's there? They asked together. I'm Little Hedgehog, Dodo. Your villa is beautiful, and your songs are lovely. Can I come in and spend the winter with you? Dodo asked. Aha, certainly, Little Mole welcomed Dodo. Join us and spend the winter together. One by one, other animals found their way to the villa, a lost ant, a frog with no place to hibernate, and a bat that had accidentally flown in. They all came to the burrow, making friends, singing songs, and sharing pumpkins and sweet potatoes to survive the winter. When the pumpkins had all been eaten down to hollow shells, spring arrived. Little Mole watched as one by one, its friends left the burrow. It felt a little sad but soon cheered up. It was the happiest winter ever, and it had experienced the joy of sharing. Little Mole lit a candle inside a hollow pumpkin shell and hung it at the burrow entrance every night. This way, their friends wouldn't get lost during the dark nights. Little Mole looked forward to the next, even happier winter.